for the first time, a university was involved in having a technology center for a company where both parties, universities and the companies, can work together in order to improve their competitiveness. Most of us were based on the fourth floor of what's now the, the IARC building and I guess there can't have been more than about 50 or 60 people working for the organisation. It was a very small, tight-knit team. It was quite a lot of fun because it was small and it was expanding rapidly and really starting to, uh, you know, to, to interact a lot with industry. And I have been uh, heartened uh, in one respect uh, by what has happened today. In a sense, uh, apprehensive in another sense. Heartened because it's happening here, apprehensive because I suspect there are not many other places where I would find quite such excellent results. I think one of the things that makes working at WMG so exciting is you're never doing the same job. We're always working with different industries, uh, with different problems. When we first started we were very much in the hard manufacturing, uh, working with companies like Lucas and Rover and British Aerospace, where now we do a lot with Network Rail, with the water companies, with banks, uh, so we, you know, we really have broadened the area. I think that um, clients of WMG find it very unique that you can have such a rich resource of academic input uh, to industrial problems and I think that's what makes this place um, so, so really very unique. The uh, nice thing about the digital lab is the interdisciplinarity of the place and the disparate um, backgrounds and areas of expertise of the other professors and staff here. And, and that's really something quite inno innovative that you don't see in traditional academic departments. The future is digital and WMG is at the forefront of this research. In our Digital Technologies Research Programme we focus on how to harness digital for, for the best of the individual, to, for profit, for well-being. And we look at the, the broader communication and messaging through our work in digital media, looking into how you interface as a human uh, technology through visualisation, into virtual reality, through experiential engineering, and e-security then broadens out into people as well as technology. We need both blue sky thinking, very high risk, and short-term applied application. And indeed, sometimes it's only through the application that you keep your finger on the pulse. We have got a tremendous alumni who are now running huge companies. Our success is because we not only carry out research, we actually go and implement things. We have produced some multi-multi-millionaires and billionaires, you know, by setting up their own companies. And when I go and see them, I'm extremely proud of their success. And, uh, and I think I'm also extremely proud of the staff that are here, you see. 
But more than anything else, I'm extremely proud of the University of Warwick because it's the University of Warwick that has created uh, uh, an environment whereby we could work in the way we work today. Business is people. There we have to go for people excellence. And people excellence is delivered by the spirit and the coaching of WMG. For the Queen's Award, we are absolutely delighted that we were recognized by the committee and uh, hopefully, you know, and our staff. I mean, that's more important. This is a world-renowned unit carrying out world research. It has got very, very extensive skill base and, uh, and Warwick is very proud of it.